Hello everyone, my name is Norma and today we're going to Area 15. Area 15 opened in September of 2020, so we're about to hit the one year mark and the response has been like nothing else before. Now, as it was being built, we were all really confused. There were so many rumors about what it was gonna become. Now, even though they've been open for about a year now, there's still a lot of people who are confused about what it is. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you everything there is to know about Area 15. So the name Area 15, not only is a plant worth the Area 51, but they changed it to 15 because we're right next to the 15 freeway. Then plus the parent company opened in 1915 and this is sitting on 15 acres of land. So number 15 is kind of like a lucky number for them. So when people ask me how to describe Area 15, I don't know, I always say it's like stepping into year 3000. Everything is very neon. There's a lot of art, food venues, and even bars, and even a little bit of shopping. So as soon as you walk into area 15, automatically here to your right is gonna be Lost Spirits Distillery. And then over here to your left, you're gonna find Omega Mart. Now personally, in my opinion, these are the two most exciting of all of area 15. So I am gonna leave them to the very end of the video. So the next to Lost Spirits Distillery, you are gonna find Brainstorm and Particle Quest. So Brainstorm is gonna be kind of like this machine that reads your facial expressions after giving you certain scenarios. And it kind of gives you like funny responses depending on how you react. And then Particle Quest is gonna be more like a scavenger hunt that you're gonna do all around Area 15. So this first thing we're gonna try out is called Birdly. It's kind of like a bird simulator. Uh, you wear the VR glasses and you have different birds to choose from and different cities that you can choose from also. So fly around so you can kind of flap your wings. That was actually really cool, being able to just be a bird and just go to New York City. That was actually super awesome. And then also they do have a sea turtle option. And I've never been snorkeling, so for now that's going to be the closest I'll ever get to one. And it is going to be about a two minute experience, whichever like bird, sea turtle, any city that you want to choose. So next we're gonna do dueling axes. It has become a pretty popular activity pretty much everywhere. Now here they do have a bar, but just be careful when you do a mix alcohol and axes. Hold it at a 90 degree angle, just like this, right in front of you. The axe right up above your head, right near your forehead area. There you go. So you don't have to come in just to throw axes. You could definitely come in just to hang out, lounge around, watch a game. You can even walk over to the bar. And then over on this side, this is gonna be the VIP room. So it's gonna be great if you wanna reserve your own spot. Great for girls nights, bachelor parties, or team building activities. So you could definitely have this all to yourself. So next we're gonna go ahead and try the Oz experience. Now for here, there's gonna be a few different things you can do. This first one right here is gonna be the Eclipse. It's gonna be kind of like a VR escape room. And then also right here, uh, these are gonna be like virtual roller coasters. They have two different kinds. They have one where you're riding a sidecar throughout like a city, and then another one you're riding a spaceship. So if you're gonna come to Area 15 and not try out any of the experiences, I say at least come get a drink at the bar. This is gonna be at Oddwood. This is like the prettiest bar, like one of the most interesting bars I've ever seen. That's gonna be a 23 foot high maple tree and it's just filled with like about 5,000 like twinkle lights on here and it changes different colors so it's really cool. It's one of the best places to come, take a picture and get a cocktail. They have a wide array of craft cocktails and they serve beer as well too. Uh, this one's gonna be the outer space. Uh, they, they make their cocktails really pretty here too. That one's actually really good. It does have champagne in it and in my opinion, any cocktail that has champagne in it is amazing. Now they do change up their cocktails seasonally, so make sure you keep on coming back just to try their new drinks. So Area 15 does have one floor restaurant. This one is called The Beast. It's by Chef Todd English. He was actually the chef of the restaurant called Olives. Um, it was originally first at the Bellagio. It sat right in front of the fountains. Now it's moved over to the Virgin Hotel. But here, it's called The Beast, and we're gonna have some food. All right, chef, I have no idea where to start with any of this. So this is a super popular pizza, probably 
one of my favorite things to eat here as well. This is like cut pepperoni and like huge, I think it's what, salami right here? Yep, so we got a little bit of both on there. Fresh Ooh. basil, fresh farm. Wow. Holy cow. It's almost too good, that's the problem. It is too good. you want to eat it all. I know. Eat it all. It's, a, it's a little messy, but no, it's okay. The, the sauce is really good. The, the meats are amazing too. <laughs> Uh, tuna tacos, lime creme fresh, flying squirrel eggs are nice <laughs> on those, are fun. This tortilla is like super crunchy. We make them fresh every morning. I think the balance on that dish is really good. Don't it really think? is. Yeah. Like the, wa the guacamole tastes like a little bit of spice in there, but it's definitely very fresh. Oh my God, this is so heavy. The barbecue, we got, we got the best of the best, right? We brought everybody together here from St. Louis to Texas to North Carolina. I mean, we even make our own pickles in half. Mm. Be really? No, pretty good. <laughs> These are really smoky. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. The brisket is, you know, to die oh my for, God. of course. Oh my God. Yeah, that's, mm. that's really good. This is amazing. That's like, it. it's like really juicy, but you don't, it doesn't feel crazy fatty. Uh, we went a little crazy with the burger, of course. It's kind of like a carnival ride for the burger. And I think it's totally cool and it's totally fun. So we hand turn these every okay. day. We make this shape and then we fry them to order. They look really beautiful. I mean, it's I, kind of it's kind of like it's kind of like a potato chip. It's kind of like awesome. a magic trick. It <laughs> is, it, or or a magic trick. Tear off a chunk. Oh, there okay. you go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, these are really crunchy. Really crunchy. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's really good. This tea burger. Yeah, double patty yeah, in here. Of course. Got all the good ingredients this is in there. Todd's, this is Todd's jam. This is his guy. Mm. Oh, good. Yeah. Really juicy. Yeah, not, not over complicated. Not no, over -complicated. not at all. Yeah, it just needs to be a burger, right? It just needs to be a burger. I know, I was about to say, like, it's like a great all American burger. I love the presentation that you guys do for these wings. That's really cool. Mm. Is that mild? Yeah. It's a little spicy. It's yeah. a little spicy. I would definitely try it with the ranch dressing to help oh, you pull okay. it off. That'll help you a great deal. I day. remember thinking I really like the ranch here. It is very good. Once again, we make it ourselves. And he's breaded at all a little yeah. bit? Or? Uh, a, a, little, uh. a little bit, a little, but not breading. It's not breading. No? Okay. You, you don't have to kill me to tell me. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. Fine. I feel like we have to try the fish bowl. Yeah, that looks heavy, actually. It is an actual fish bowl. Okay. It is the real deal. Mm. Oh, that's really good. It's super good. It's like yeah. sweet, but it doesn't taste like it's just sugar. Like I feel like you taste yeah. a little bit of actual food in it yeah, too. Yeah, but we even we we even hand make the cotton candy here. Oh, no, right, cool. So we did get a virgin one just because we're we're working here. <laughs> but yeah. usually I've heard that they have like what five shots of vodka, definitely peach schnapps in here. Yes. So you can have it both virgin or alcoholic. But no, this is like. Amazing food. Like, yeah, well, thank you so much. I, I love, we really I love appreciate everything now. all the love today. That yeah. was really nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, no worries. It's literally a candy and soda shop. Here is called the sanctuary. Usually it's just used like as a lounge area so anybody can come in and just sit down but sometimes it will be used as an extension to the Oddwood bar or to the base or honestly you could just rent this out for yourself. You can have like your own meetings here like your own events so up to you what you want to do with it. But it's actually really cool it's almost made to look like you're inside of a volcano but obviously like an Area 15 style. So we went ahead and we moved on to the portal. So the portal is kind of like this huge space and it just has like all these different art installations. So at this very moment, they do have the Van Gogh experience. So it's just like a whole bunch of Van Gogh's um, art and it just like moves to the music. It's very artistic. So you just kind of like sit here and you just like stare up and a little bit of commentary too. The Van Gogh experience might only last a little bit longer, but I honestly thought it was like one of the most beautiful ones. Just being able to sit here and look at all of his beautiful paintings. I really thought Van Gogh was really beautiful, so I can only imagine whatever is next must be super amazing. So now we're going up to the second floor to show you more cool things. 
first one we're gonna try out is Haley's Comet, which is actually a zip line, and they do have two different lines. So just make sure you do make your reservation on their website, or you can just do it once you're here. But they do fill up pretty quick, so I would say do it in advance. You can actually go as fast as you want. There's actually a little button right here that you can press. So you can go at just a normal speed or you can make it go faster. So for this next part, we're here at Five Iron Golf. This is gonna be a golf simulator. So you can definitely walk in and play a round of 18 holes. Now they do have a lot of different courses. They actually have 90, so lots to choose from. And they also have other games that you can play within the simulator. They do have eight different bays, so if you want to come in and play, they allow up to four people per bay. It's going to be $50 per hour during the day. After 4 p.m., it is going to convert to $65 an hour. What's so cool about this place is that they do have a PGA professional, so you can also pay for lessons. I'm really bad at everything. Literally any sport that you can think of, I'm probably really bad at it. So we're going to have Sean here teach me how to golf better. The left hand, just grab it like you grab anything. Good. So Almost perfect. Turn the hand a little bit this way. Lifeline of this hand goes right over that thumb. Feet about shoulder width. Okay. Bend your knees just a tiny, tiny little bit. Okay. Good. Not a bad shot at all. All right. So, what do you think I could do? I'm doing wrong, or what I could do different? So, we do get to watch the video and see what you did there. Okay. So we can see the ball going that way. That means that that club face was wide open, so it looked like this when you hit it. Oh, okay. So we just kind of want to feel the hands do this a little bit more as we come through. Mm -hmm. What kind of sports you play growing up? None. Okay. <laughs> um, the best I'm good at is badminton. <laughs> okay. All right. There you go. Better. A little straighter. Oh, way better. Much better. There you go. And just like Dooley Nexus, they also have a bar. So you could definitely come in just to get a drink. And you can also order food from the beast to be delivered up here. next one we're gonna walk into is called Wing Girl. This is actually one of my favorite ones out of Area 15. It's kind of cool though. It's six different rooms and they have different art installations in them that they do move. They go to the music. Um, there's commentary in them. Um, it's, it's actually really cool. It's really psychedelic in there. Lots of color. Again, everything's very neon in there. And they do give you these glasses. Um, you can buy them. It's $2.50 extra. I honestly say get them. I mean, you're going to only come in here once maybe, uh, but they actually look a little bit different uh, with these on. So I definitely say get these. So for a museum fiasco, once you walk in there, you're going to notice it's going to be a very large room. It does have floor to ceiling mirrors, lots of lights, lots of strobe lights, and it's actually very smoky in there. So they do have three different shows. Um, they're all about one hour long, but when you buy your ticket, there's no time entry. You can kind of walk in whenever you want, and you can stay inside as long as you want. The music inside is really awesome too. Like I almost wish I could like film a music video in there. This is really good guys. Definitely gotta try this one or one of their other slushies. And then they also do have craft cocktails on draft. So they kind of just have it already pre-made for you. And then for their beers, they also have a lot of craft beers too. A lot of them are locally sourced here in Las Vegas, but they do have others that are from different states. So that's actually really cool that they keep it very local too. And then also you can definitely get tokens here. So they do have machines uh, where you can get these. Basically it's gonna be four tokens for a dollar. 
and then everything here is going to be anywhere between two to four tokens just depending on which game you're going to get um, and i really like this bar i mean besides it being you know considered as an arcade bar it's a lot more chill than like you know considering to um, oddwood this is the second floor right here they do have another floor downstairs on the bottom definitely super chill just come hang out get a few drinks and play some games cool thing too they also have djs every night from about 9 p.m until close Okay, so for this one, we're here at Virtuales. This is actually right now the newest addition to Area 15. Fully immersive, free roam VR. So the usual, as everyone knows, you put the goggles in the backpack. We also put trackers on your hands and feet. So we have full body tracking, which allows you to freely roam around our arena. And there's also, you know, there's heat, there's wind, there's scent. So it is a really fully immersive experience. Oh my God, Whoa. that was so cool. Almost <laughs> like, died. Like no, he wanted to like leave me, but no, that's actually really cool. You really do feel like you're there. I mean, you get everything like you, there's like wind in it, there's smells. I mean, and they even told us that there's like zombie ones also. And then there's the like an actual gun that they'll give you. I mean, not, not an actual gun, but like a, a VR gun. But yeah, th this was, this is actually really cool. What did you think? Yeah, it's super fun, super realistic. Like I bet we're not moving at all, but yeah. like elevators and you had a torch actually it feels warm. Really feel like, I mean, you might think you know what's going on, but... <laughs> no, really cool. There. Yeah, definitely gotta check this one out. Okay. So we're finally here at one of the last stops that I wanted to wait to the very end. This is gonna be a Mega Mart, and it's just unexplainable inside. You have to see, it's out of the world. Let's go ahead and go inside. Now, from afar, this just looks like a regular grocery store, but there is no fresh food in here. I mean, you might find some snacks or candy in here that you can buy, uh, but this is just gonna be the facade. You're actually supposed to keep on uh, exploring it here, and you might even find a hidden land in here somewhere. To uncover that hidden land, there's gonna be several points of entry. I'm not gonna mention them all because I don't wanna ruin all the surprises, but I'm gonna show you my favorite. to the real land. <laughs> Ryan, our tour guy for the day. Hello. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Good. Nice uh, entrance. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. This is so Oh wow. That's yummy. One of the really fun aspects of this place is that the groups start together as a group mm -hmm. and they walk in to that first room. Okay. But then after that, they sort of like can optionally hang back longer in spaces or go faster in spaces. And so the groups start to break themselves up and reorient themselves with whoever they want to be reoriented with. So one of the fun things you see are a lot of people coming in here, making new friends, hanging out, chit-chatting, while drinking. Okay. So usually then there's not really like a tour guide in the sense of like you're with them the entire time. No, you have okay. them for parts. Okay. Uh, but then you can sort of linger back or go faster and sort of like regroup yourselves as you wish. Okay. Uh, which when it's busy and it's not a Monday, you know, yeah. afternoon, uh, you get, you know, quite a few people inside. And so people sort of form their own tour groups mm -hmm. uh, based on who they want to hang out with, which is really, really fun to watch. Okay. Yeah, very much so. It's not rushed at all. Okay. Uh, like, some people are done in an hour and a half. Some people are here for three hours. Uh, you know, I we're mean, just gonna have I, fun. I wouldn't want to leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> I love this room. I can live in this environment. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> I like all the rooms so far. <laughs> oh my God, this one's so good. 
welcome. Okay, Brian, thank you so much on taking us on this private tour. So if you guys want to check it out, please go on to area15.com, make your reservation. This was such an amazing experience and it's going to grow even more. So this isn't it. It's just, you know, if you even if you come back later on in the time. It'll be it's, different every time. Yes. We never stop. I mean, ever. Uh, we're constantly at it. Okay. It's just that, that is the fun. Okay. Thank you so much. This was super awesome. Me. I think anybody would enjoy this. Men, women, everybody. 21 and over, of course. Yes. Children <laughs> of all ages, over 21. <laughs>